The Mandalorian Season 1 has ended, and it ended on a heck of a bombshell. So before I say anything else, spoilers. Spoilers. So if you hear spoilers and you get upset with me, and you go ahead and get up into the little comments and be like, but Bounty Kumi, I didn't know that there were going to be some spoilers. That's on you, okay? That's on you. And, you know, I'll, I'll read it, and it'll still hurt my feelings, but I will not respond, okay? I refuse. You hold no power over me. I am what I am. So this ending that happened, Moff Gideon, first off, loved the actor. I thought that they chose him brilliantly. But Moff Gideon, you come to realize that he is the person that purged the Mandalorians. Now, if you do not know a lot about Mandalorian lore outside of just what you see in the base movies, in Star Wars the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, they really flesh them out a good deal. In the Clone Wars, you see, like, all the conflict that's going on and the Republican really getting a little involved. And then Darth Maul showing up being like, hey, guys, I'm Darth Maul, and I like to do things that are not good because I'm a bad guy. And so that's just kind of what happens. But then in Star Wars Rebels, you see, like, this civil war breaking out because the Empire's backed a couple of the clans, But the Rebellion has backed some other ones because they're just like, hey, y'all ain't too bad, okay? Like, you're you're mercenaries. You're kind of neutral territory, but, you know, maybe maybe you could help us out. We help you out, things like that. So they assisted the good, well, I I don't know if you can call them good, but they assisted the clan that was, you know, on the main character Sabine's side and help them to win. But you know, the Empire does not like that. So with the Mandalorians freed from the Empire's grasp, there's really only one way to go, which is six feet underground. Obviously, at some point between Star Wars Rebels and the events of, you know, the Star Wars trilogy, the original trilogy, you're seeing a lack a stunning lack of mandalorians you see mr fett and that's it that's all that you see and you're like well where are the mandalorians at because i know that they were kind of prominent in star wars rebels and they can't be too fond of the empire well clearly not because well the empire just, just, just took them out they just took them out moff gideon was the one that's revealed to be uh, the orchestrator of the purge and you really get to see that solidified moment in the final scene when you've got his crash tie fighter there it wasn't really too subtle but for those of you that haven't seen star wars the clone wars and star wars rebels the thing that he used to cut himself out of the tie fighter was the dark saber which was the fabled saber of legend for the mandalorians it was a symbol that whoever really wielded it was generally considered the leader of the Mandalorian tribe. And at the end of Star Wars Rebels, it was given to the clan leader of, you know, it it was, I don't call her name, I'm not going to lie, but she was bestowed the Darksaber and the Mandalorians all united under her, which means that since Moff Gideon has it, nothing good happened. Those suckers were wiped out. They were reduced to a matter of dozens, maybe even just a couple dozen, but they were not many at all. Which means that when you see them in this final scene, you see all that armor and stuff of them laying down uh, on the ground and stuff in helmets, meaning that you know that those ones were guaranteed to have died. For all you know, there are only two Mandalorians left. Two. And that's it. And that is some wild stuff to me. I have mixed feelings about the final episode of The Mandalorian. And all I could say was my jaw dropped when he cut himself out of that crash TIE fighter with hit the Darksaber. That's nuts. Moff Gideon. I cannot wait to see more of him and the sinister stuff that he has planned, because he's going to be a cool, cool villain if his previous work in Breaking Bad and other things have anything to say. The dude is a phenomenal actor. Great choice. Ah, John Favreau, 
you are a freaking genius. The dude directed Elf. He started the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Iron Man. And now he is single-handedly making Star Wars remain something relevant. Props to you, my dude. That's all I really want to talk about. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.